Hello everybody, welcome back to Sauce Man's Garage. In this episode, we are going to take apart this 2010 Escape Power Transfer Unit, PTU, otherwise known as a differential. It's from a four-wheel drive for Escape. <clears throat> and uh, if you watch the other videos, we, uh, we had to replace it because, well, it, uh, yeah, it kind of had catastrophic failure. So we're going to take the sucker apart today. See what's on the inside. So stay tuned. Let's get right to it. Oh, loosening is always a good thing. There we go. Got all. Oh, how many is that? Uh, two, four, six, eight, twelve. Twelve bolts out. Hmm, nice little tab there to give a whack to. Maybe one here too. I can see a. There's a layer of gray RTV in there. Let's just make sure though. No other bolts. Bolts. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this will come apart hard or easy. Sorry about that. Not too bad. Might be some gears meshed in there. Oh, all right, didn't mean to hit you there. Hmm. It's a good thing we don't really care about what's going on here. this off maybe with a pry bar I suspect this dust cover yeah this dust cover has got to come off oh let's see here let's take this off as gently as possible covers off. Now let's see if we can convince this sucker to come off. Our TV is still holding it. Oh, there's the inside. Oh. Nice. All right, and here we have the gear set. Oof, okay. That sits in there. Okay. Bearing set here. 
All right, let's pop this bad boy out first. Roller bearings. Huh. Gears actually don't look too, too bad. Roller bearing set here. Let's get this fine metal shavings though all over it from when uh, Elvis there left the building on the bottom. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Nice chunk of a gear. Hmm. Let's see where that piece comes from. Roller bearings. Another gear set here. Roller bearings. Huh. Not too, too bad. To tell you the truth, not too, too bad. Oh, there we go. That looks like the output shaft right there. Output shaft gear. Oh, yeah, some oof, another good chunk there. Yeah. Oh, here's another chunk down here of that bearing. Or, sorry, of that gear. Yeah. yeah. Things don't go well if these aren't properly lubricated. And the lubrication changed, is my understanding. So. This thing is like right up close to the catalytic converter too, so I, I think that's probably what happened with this sucker. It's actually a good unit because this one on the bottom is a drain. It's a drain hole. Well, there's two drain holes, but one man-made. So it's just probably a lack of maintenance that this sucker failed. Hmm. But there you have it. That's a nice seal in there still. Actually still in good shape. And like I said, a whole bunch of metal mud, let's put it that way, in here. But uh, yeah, ultimately it looks like uh, probably some metal got to where the uh, gear, the gear on the output shaft here broke. That's lodged somewhere on this gear. And uh, and then this gear decided to uh, yeah, kick it off, kick it out of the party, and uh, this is where it uh, it left. So there you go. So if you ever wondered what's inside your 2010 Ford Escape power transfer unit, otherwise known as a differential, some really big ass gears, some nice roller bearing sets, and uh, fluid that needs to be changed regularly so that this whole disaster, i.e. hole in the bottom of the case, doesn't happen. So there you go. Thanks for watching Sauce Man's Garage. I'm going to try to get you some more videos coming up here in the near future. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like uh, the video, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.